Hi there, my name is Simon Stratford and this is my new font called Misfits. Here we're going to take a look at how to use contextual alternatives and stylistic sets in Adobe Illustrator. I already have my layers window and open type window open. You can find the open type window via window type open type. Here you can see I have typed out the text slow and steady. This is the Misfits font basic look without any changes. The easiest way I can explain what contextual alternatives are is by showing you. I'm going to select my type and hit the contextual alternatives button. See how the text changes? The words now have a totally different look. That's contextual alternatives in action right there. But I also have some alternative letters to show you. You can access the alternatives in a few ways. You can simply select the letter and Illustrator will show you a context window with the alternatives for that letter. This is the simplest method in Illustrator, super easy. The other method is a bit more involved and requires another window called Glyphs. The Glyphs window will show you all the letters in the entire font by default, but you can make it more simple by changing the dropdown to Alternatives for Current Selection. So when you select a letter in your type layout, only the alternatives for that letter will show. This makes it much easier these are also grouped into what Illustrator calls stylistic sets. So if you want the scale letter with the underline, those are in the stylistic set one in the dropdown. So far, we switched out the letter T, we switched out the letter D. Let's just do one more change. Let's change out the Y for the underline version. Just select the letter and head to the glyphs panel and select the underline version. That's it. That's how you use contextual alternatives and stylistic sets in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoy using my font. If you have any questions or comments, email me via my website or grab me on social. Bye.